Welcome to the Criminal Law and Procedure Lecture Series. At the end of each slide, there will be a 10-second delay. Use this time to stop the lecture and take your notes. When you are done, push play to continue. This lecture will begin in 5 seconds. Welcome to Criminal Law and Procedure Lecture 2.2 on Homicide, and let's look at this 1945 chestnut from Walt Disney, Goofy in Hockey Homicide. That's right, the word homicide is in the title of a Disney cartoon. And here's the thing, during the entire 7 minutes and 45 seconds that Goofy beats up on all the other Goofies during a particularly violent hockey game, not one homicide is committed. So you have to wonder, do the people at Disney know what this word means? Well, I think they do, because there are homicides being committed throughout Disney films. For example, in Snow White, the dwarves drive the evil queen to a dangerous ledge where she falls to her death. How about in Pocahontas, where Kokuam is gunned down by a bunch of British settlers? Then we've got the Lion King. Scar helps Mustafa fall to his death into a thundering herd of wildebeests. In Mulan, Emperor Shang dies a particularly gruesome death when Mulan, aided and abetted by Mushu, kill him off with a bunch of fireworks. Then who can forget how Gaston died in Beauty and the Beast, falling to his death into a bunch of spikes, and finally we have Syndrome, who is knocked into a jetliner's engine by the Incredibles. So Disney knows a lot about homicides. The question is, were any of these homicides illegal? That's what we're going to look at today, and with that said, go to the next slide. Homicide is probably the most misused and misunderstood term in all of criminal law. So let's go ahead and define it. Homicide is defined as the killing of a human being due to the act, procurement, or omission of another human being with the death of the victim occurring at any time. What does that mean? Well, when Gary Cooper kills another cowboy in High Noon, that's one human being killing another human being, we have a homicide. When Scar kills Mustafa, not so much. That's not a homicide, that's just the law of the jungle. And here's the other thing. No matter when the person dies, whether it be immediately or 10 years from now, if you're the cause of that person's death, you committed a homicide. There are four different types of homicide. They are murder, manslaughter, excusable homicide, and justifiable homicide. But here's the thing, only some homicidal actions are considered crimes against people. In other words, not all homicides our crimes. Finally, we have the doctrine of transferred intent. This allows for the transfer of the defendant's criminal intent to harm the intended victim to another unintended victim. And this doctrine is not just found in homicide, it's found in all crimes against people. Here's how it works. We have our suspect with the gun and he wants to kill his sworn enemy. Your intent was to harm your enemy, but you missed, and you killed an innocent bystander. Because of this, we're going to transfer that intent to the person you actually harmed. In other words, you can be held accountable for the homicide of the innocent bystander, even though you didn't mean to kill them. Go to the next slide. Let's look at our four types of homicide to see how society decides what is and what is not considered a criminal killing. 
Murder includes the killing of a human being without the authority of law by any means or in any manner. It is the ultimate mala in se offense. For example, when Lampone kills Gatto because he's told to do so by the mob family, after which Clemenza says, leave the gun, take the cannoli, Lampone, he's guilty of murder. Manslaughter is the unlawful killing of a human being without malice. For example, here's Pugsley. Pugsley loves to play tricks on people, like take the stop sign from the intersection to cause an accident. Now, Pugsley only meant to cause the accident, but if somebody dies in that accident, Pugsley's probably going to be charged with manslaughter. Then we have excusable homicide. This is committed by accident or misfortune when someone is doing a lawful act with usual and ordinary caution. For example, here's Tony Stewart, race car driver, driving at an event. Another guy gets out of his car to challenge Stewart. Stewart does everything he's supposed to do and unfortunately he kills the other driver. That's just a straightforward accident. Finally, we have justifiable homicide, which is, for example, committed in self-defense by one who reasonably believes that he is in imminent danger of losing his life or receiving great bodily harm, and that the killing is necessary to save him from that danger. We learned all about self-defense in Unit 1. Go to the next slide. Now that you know that murder and manslaughter are the only types of criminal homicides, let's look at these two crimes in detail. And we start with the three types of murder. Capital murder are specific crimes that are punishable by the death penalty. And they include, but are not limited to, murder for hire. Murder during a kidnapping, purposefully killing someone during a robbery, and murdering a police officer during the course of their duties. In other words, these are crimes that are considered so bad by society that the only way to punish the offender is to execute them. But there's a couple of things to know. Number one, these are specific intent crimes. The specific intent of the offender must be seen directly in the words found in the criminal statute. And number two, not all states and not all countries have capital murder statutes. Then we have first and second degree murder. First degree murder is a homicide resulting from the accuser's willful, deliberate, and premeditated acts. Again, you need a specific intent to kill someone. Second degree murder is a homicide resulting from a general intent to kill. In other words, murder in the first degree is intending to kill a human versus murder in the second degree, which is not caring if you kill a human. Finally, we have felony murder. This is the killing of one accidentally, contrary to the intention of the parties while doing some felonious act other than first or second degree murder. For example, you go into the store and you commit an armed robbery. As you're pointing the gun at the grocery store clerk, he has a heart attack and dies. You just committed felony murder. You're going to go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Go to the next slide. Our other criminal homicide is manslaughter, and contrary to what you've heard, manslaughter is not less than murder. Instead, manslaughter is its own criminal offense with its own specific elements. So let's look at the three types of manslaughter. 
Voluntary manslaughter is a homicide committed upon a sudden quarrel or heat of passion. Everyone knows this cliché. That's my girl. You're messing with my girl. I have a heat of passion come over me and I kill you. That's voluntary manslaughter. Involuntary manslaughter is also a homicide but it's a bit more complicated. It's committed while the offender is committing an unlawful act or committing a lawful act which might produce death in an unlawful manner or without due caution and circumspection or using a firearm or deadly weapon in a reckless, careless, or negligent manner which produces death. What does all of that mean? Well, here's an example of committing a lawful act which might produce death in an unlawful manner. Fireworks. Fireworks might be legal where you are, but if you're using fireworks in an unlawful manner, like you're shooting them at somebody and you're not allowed to, or you know that shooting fireworks at somebody is probably a really bad idea, you can be charged with involuntary manslaughter if you kill that other person. Finally, we have vehicular manslaughter. This is a homicide where someone drove an automobile in a way that is a significant cause contributing to the death of someone else because they were also committing an unlawful act with or without gross negligence. We know this as the DUI death. You're driving under the influence, that's illegal, it's an unlawful act, and you kill somebody, you can be also charged with vehicular manslaughter. Thank you for watching this lecture, and I look forward to seeing you in class.